Okay, welcome to chapter five, and we're going to be talking about exponents in this chapter. If you have something like three to the fourth power, three is called the base, four is called the exponent, and the exponent tells you how many times the base is multiplying itself. So three to the fourth power just means three times three times three times three, which could be written as 81 if you multiply it out. Uh, the first form is called exponential form. The second one, the middle one, is called product form. Sometimes you're able to write as a number, and if so, that's called natural form. So that's what we're going to focus on first, is just converting from one form to the other. All right, let's say you have negative 5 to the 2 power. Base is negative 5. Exponent is 2. So this is just another way of writing negative 5 times negative 5, which can be written in natural form as 25. What if you have y times y times y times y times y? Five factors of, of y. Well, exponential form, the base is y, exponent is 5. But unfortunately, you can't write this in natural form because you don't know what y is. What if you have negative 3 fourths to the third? What's the base? Let's see, the base is negative 3 fourths, and the exponent is 3. So you could write this as negative 3 fourths times negative 3 fourths times negative 3 fourths. And when you multiply the tops together, you should have gotten negative 27. If you multiply the bottoms together, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Let's keep on going here. Uh, uh, how about, oh, we're over here now. I wish they'd tell me what's going on here. They keep changing things around on me all the time. Let's suppose I give you the natural form, and it's 16. How would you write that in product form? Well, there's a couple ways to do it. Uh, you could write it as 4 times 4, or you could write it as 2 times 2 times 2. They're both right. If, if you did it this way, though, what would the exponential form be? be 2 to the 4th power, wouldn't it? Uh, what if you have negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1? Ex the base would be negative 1, the exponent's 4. What would the natural form be? It would be 1. Uh, what if you have x to the n? Well, the base is x, exponent is n. Uh, the n says you're going to have x multiplying itself n times. Now, we don't know what n is, so this is the best we can do. Write it as x times x times dot 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 times x n factors. And there is no uh, natural form for this, is there? All right, well, let's see. Why don't you try these on your own? Why don't you hit the pause button and see if you can fill in the rest of this table? Okay, on the left side, uh, did you change to an improper fraction? That's a good idea. And then, so the base is 3 fourths, the exponent is 4, so it's, I, I think I should, should have said 4 thirds. The base is 4 thirds, the exponent's 4, so you have 4 thirds times itself 4 times. On the top, 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 happens to be 256. On the bottom, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 happens to be 80, 81. Now when you're given the natural form of negative 27, you could have thought of that as negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. The base would be negative 3, the exponent's 3. And this one, if you're multiplying negative 1 times itself 18 times, isn't that just negative 1 to the 18th? Now the reason why the answer is positive 1 is because um, you have an even number of ne negatives, right? All right, well, let's keep on going. Um, okay, now perhaps the most important thing that you have to keep straight here is how the order of operations works. Um, we always work inside the innermost parentheses first, and then we do the exponents before the multiplications and divisions, right? Exponents before multiplications and divisions. In other words, if there's no parentheses present, you do the exponents before the multiplications and divisions. That's really important. All right, so if you have a problem like this, 5 minus 4 times 3 to the second power, the base of the exponent is just 3. So it's going to be 5 minus 4 times 3 squared, which is 9, so we have 5 minus 4 times 9. Now, of course, we do the multiplication before the subtraction, and you get negative 31. This one, the, the base of the exponent, since there's no parentheses, the base of the exponent is 2. So it's 2 to the 4th power. You raise 2 to the 4th power first, which turns out to be 16. So what is negative 3 times 16? It's just negative 48. All right, now look at the difference between these two problems here. Negative 1 times 5 to the 2 versus negative 5 to the 2. The base of this first exponent is 5, isn't it? 
So this is negative 1 times 5 times 5, which is negative 25. Now in the second one, do you see any parentheses present? No, there's no parentheses present. Furthermore, this, this negative in front of the number, it means you're multiplying by negative 1. Remember earlier in the course, you looked at things like this, where you have a, a negative number is just a short way to write negative 1 times a positive number. So the same thing is going on here. Negative 5 to the 2 is just negative 1 times 5 to the 2. I know that's kind of subtle, but you have to get used, used to it. The 5, or the negative is not part of the base. 5 is the base, not neg negative 5. So the, these, two, these two problems are exactly the same. Problems 3 and 4 are exactly the same. Don't get that mixed up with this. When you do have parentheses present, the order says you, you do the multiplication first, so this is why the base would be negative 5. So this one comes up to be 25. Again, if there's no parentheses present, the negative is not part of the base. If there's parentheses around the negative, it becomes part of the base. That's really important, perhaps the most important thing. So let's go on. If you look at number, number 6 here, notice uh, you, there's no parentheses present, so this is just negative 1 times 1 to the 6th power which is negative 1 times 6 factors of, of 1. 1 times itself is just going to be 1, so that's why your answer is negative 1. Okay? Since, since the negative is inside the parentheses here, it's part of the base. So when you, when you write this in product form, you get this. And then when you multiply the top out, you should get positive 16. The bottom becomes positive 81. On this one, the parentheses are around just the negative 2. So the base of this exponent is negative 2. The 3 is not being raised to the fourth power. So your answer should have been... 16 over 3. Let's do a few more and then I'll give you some to, some to practice. How about that? Okay, on this one, uh, this is a tricky one, very tricky. Uh, notice, you, you, you don't see any parentheses. So, so the base, the negative is not part of the base. The base is just 2. This becomes negative 1 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 all over 3. So the answer should be negative 16 over 3. Here you have a uh, the base on the top is negative 2. The base on the bottom is just 4. Again, there's no parentheses on the bottom, so the base is just 4. You should have gotten 16 on the top, negative 16 on the bottom. The answer is negative 1. Okay, we've got a few minutes left. Why don't you try these last ones, and we'll go over these in just a minute. Hit the pause button. Okay, here we go. Now, the key, again, is, is uh, understanding what the base is. What is the base in each of these cases? Here, since there's parentheses, notice the negative is part of the base. So you get negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 81. Here, you don't see parentheses. So remember, this, this means negative 1 times 3 to the 4th. If you write it like this, I think you can see it better. The negative is not part of the base. So this is just negative 1 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is negative 81. So problems 11 and 12 are really the essence of this whole section here that you understand the difference between those. Okay, let's do a few more. No parentheses present, so the negative is not part of the base. So it's just really negative 1 times, and then we have 18 factors of 1. Well, 18 factors of 1 is just 1, so it's negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1. Now here we do have parentheses, right? So here you actually have 18, the negative, the base is negative 1, the exponent is 18. You actually have 18 factors of negative 1, which is going to be positive 1 because you have an even number of negatives, right? All right, now on this one, did you change this to an improper fraction first? And if you change it improper, you get this, 4 thirds to the third, to the third power, the base is 4 thirds. So when you write it in product form and multiply it out, you should have gotten 64 over 27. All right, last one here. Well, let's see. The base on the top is negative 5. The base on the bottom is 0. So uh, the top it just is negative 5 times negative 5. The bottom is 0 times 0. Uh, you get 25 over 0, which is undefined. Well, don't you be undefined. Do the homework. See you later. Bye-bye.